This video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, NASIO and YouTube. If you wish to support me, you can find the links below. Imagine that is the sun, my head is the earth and I'm holding the moon. We're gonna look at the moon's orbit and try and answer the question, why isn't every full moon an eclipse or every new moon? Because according to our textbooks at least, they should be. The full moon phase means the moon is opposite to the sun and the earth is in the middle. And the eclipse also means the moon is opposite to the sun and the earth is in the middle. But we don't get an eclipse every full moon. So what's up with that? Let's try and answer this question in the video. My name is Pranav, you're watching Science is Dope. Let's begin. I got inspired to make this video when I was filming this shot for the last video. I've got the full moon in the window here and for anyone who thinks this was computer generated, this is the actual full moon and if you don't believe me, I'll tell you exactly how I got it. But if you notice, this is the full moon and not the eclipse. Let's try and figure out why it's one and not the other. For this, we first have to understand what phases are. Like I said, Moon, Earth, Sun, let's see what phases are. As the Moon goes around the Earth, it goes through various phases. And the Moon, like the Earth, is half lit by the Sun and half not. And always it's the side that's facing the Sun that's lit up. But when we look at the Moon from the Earth, what part of the Moon we see as lit up from the Earth changes. Watch. Full Moon, 3 fourth, Half Moon, Crescent, New Moon, Crescent again, half moon, three fourth, and full moon. The moon is always half lit, but when seen from the earth, that half bright, half dark shape gives us all these faces. I've seen a misconception among students and even among some adults that the faces of the moon are caused by the earth's shadow falling on the moon. Not true, they're always caused by the angle of illumination of the moon by the sun. Two interesting things that I want to point out here. Do you notice this? Whenever there's a crescent moon, the crescent is always pointed towards the sun. So whenever you see a crescent moon at night, the crescent is always pointed towards the horizon. Because the sun is below the horizon. Duh, that's why it's night. Of course, this will also depend on what latitude you're at. If you're near the poles, like somewhere in Sweden, the crescent moon can be pointed like this, sideways. But remember that it'll be always pointed at the sun. So one thing that you'll never see is a crescent moon at night pointed upwards like this. So whenever you see a child drawing something like that, hey, you know that's not how the moon will look. What are you looking at? The sun's down there. So you can tell where the sun is. That is, if it's just about rise or if it's already set by looking at the moon. I don't know why this skill will be useful, but let's say you found yourself randomly waking up in the middle of the night in a forest and you don't know when morning is gonna come. Hey, just look at the moon. The other thing is, just like you can see faces of the moon from the earth, you can see faces of the earth from the moon because the earth is also partially lit by the sun like the moon. In fact, there's this famous photograph of the earth where it shows one face of the earth taken from the moon by an astronaut called Earthrise. So in this image, can you guess where the sun must be? In fact, two bodies don't even have to be going around each other to exhibit faces. For example, if you had a telescope, you can see the faces of Venus. Astronomy buffs will know the significance of the faces of Venus. It's what Galileo saw with his telescope to establish heliocentrism once and for all. I made videos on that. Go check it out if you're interested. Links below. By the way, I didn't come up with this demo myself. I was inspired to do this by this video. Link down below. You should check it out. Now, hypothetically, if you were in a spaceship and you flew to Jupiter, you might only see a face of Jupiter depending on where the sun is. Faces are a property of every single body in the solar system because the sun is the only light source. Now, do you see this position where the moon is exactly opposite to the sun? This is the full moon. But because the moon is opposite to the sun, Sun. When the sun goes down the western horizon, the moon will be rising at the eastern horizon. All I had to do was find a south facing road and travel down the road just after sunset to get the shot. Simple right? But the question still remains. Why did I see no eclipse that night? 
see if things were exactly the way said they were, then the Earth should cast a shadow on the Moon in this position, causing an eclipse. But that's not possible because the Moon's orbit is a bit tilted. So what actually happens is this. The Moon is actually gonna go like this, where it goes above and below the Earth when it's a full Moon or a new Moon. So it never actually falls within a shadow when it's back here and it doesn't block the sun when it's in front here. So how far above the earth does it go? The plane is tilted about 5 degrees and we know the distance to the moon that's about 380,000 kilometers. Do some basic trigonometry and we see that the moon goes a maximum of 33,000 kilometers from the earth's end line at its highest point. The same at its lowest point also. So then if the the moon is always above or below the earth. How do solar and lunar eclipses occur? Good question. If the moon goes above the earth in one half of its orbit and below the earth in the other half, then it must intersect the earth-sun plane at two points. So when the moon is at these two points, then it's on the Earth-Sun plane. And if the orbit of the Moon were to somehow rotate such that these two points come on the Earth-Sun line, then we'll have a lunar eclipse if the Moon is behind the Earth and a solar eclipse when the Moon is in front of the Earth with respect to the Sun. So the question is, does the Moon's orbit rotate? And the answer is, yes it does. The Moon's orbit isn't exactly a circle, it's a bit of an elongated circle called an ellipse. And it's the same for all the planets and their orbits around the Sun. They're all elliptical and not circular. They're only slightly elliptical, mostly circular, so don't have an extremely elongated uh, orbit when you imagine it. Only comets have such orbits, but that's for another video. The ellipse, unlike a circle, which has only one point called the center, has two points, each called the focus. And the parent body, the planet or the star, is always at one of these focus points. If we look at the moon's orbit, you will see that it slowly rotates. And this is called the precession of the moon's orbit. And this happens because of slight gravitational disturbances on the moon because of the sun and the other planets. One full rotation of this orbit will take about 18 years. And this actually happens to every single body in the solar system. If you look at every single planet, you'll notice that there is a precession in its orbital motion. In fact, I've talked about this before, how Mercury's orbital precession was an anomaly that wasn't explained by Newton's gravitation model, and how Einstein's relativity model was able to finally explain it, and how classical physics turned into modern physics. And if you want to watch that, check out this video here. But coming back, because of the precession of the Moon, along with the Earth's motion around the Sun, what happens is that the nodes on the Moon's orbit but come on this Earth-Sun line. And when it does, that full moon, a lunar eclipse will occur and that new moon, a solar eclipse will occur. And those eclipses can be seen from certain parts of the Earth. And it's also why solar and lunar eclipses come in pairs. Then why do lunar eclipses happen more often than solar eclipses? Because the lunar eclipse is caused by the Earth's shadow on the moon. And solar eclipses are caused by the moon's shadow on the Earth. And since the Earth's shadow is much bigger, it'll fall on the moon more easily than the moon shadow on Earth. And this makes the lunar eclipse more easily visible from most parts on the Earth. But the solar eclipse, you have to be exactly on moon shadow to see a total eclipse. In fact, every solar eclipse, you can go online and see the path of the moon shadow and see if your region will be on that shadow and you can see a total eclipse. This cycle of the moon, in fact, is one such where the moon is at those two points on the new moon and the full moon. Now the full moon has already happened but the new moon is happening on April 8th and that is a solar eclipse. This solar eclipse will only be visible in North America and since a lot of my audience is from the US, hey, you might not want to miss it. And that's it, the moon has to be on one of these two points for you to see an eclipse. And fun fact, if you're from India, these two points are called Rahu and Ketu in Indian astronomy. Rahu and Ketu are characters from Indian mythology who supposedly swallow the sun and the moon to give you eclipses.
If you like my content, it'd be really awesome if you can support me because that becomes my main source of income. You can give me a one-time support using one of these options or give me continued support using one of these options for which you will get perks that you see on your screen. One of those perks is a private WhatsApp group that you get to join where we do stuff like this. One of our members is an astronomer and so we have amateur astronomy sessions over a Zoom call. So if you're interested in things like that, do join. I want to thank my highest tier supporters on Patreon and YouTube. If you support me in my highest tiers, you can get your name displayed on the video like this. If you like this video, you might like this one where I took that shot of the moon from a car. Or just check other videos on the channel. You might find something interesting. I'll see you in the next one till then remember science is dope